Hello everyone, this is Strawberry Shorty, back with Would You Sell Your Soul, Chapter 4, The Cost of a Wish. What happens when one whose heart is full of greed and desire makes a contract with the devil? And do we care? Yes, Two years front times! Frick is this game? That was Fate of the Empress. Amazing graphics. Probably nothing like that. Although that was one amazing looking fish, I'll say that. I didn't want to talk over it because it was so funny. <laughs> At least we're getting funny mobile ads. I hope that this plays without issue because I don't have a lot of space on my iPad. The next day, the convenience store. Welcome. Oh, he's finally showing up at work. Hey, I'm gonna put this stock in the back. Turn this down a little bit. What's gotten into Sukahara? Why does he want to work all of a sudden? I'm suspicious too. This just seems very, very iffy. Haha, <laughs> I'm about to get a hundred million soon. Well, you'll be stuck here working for pocket change. I'm a drummage. Mephisto and I remain invisible as we observe the man. Mephisto, what is this guy? He thinks he already owns the money. He's not thinking about the future. Was he going to get, like, hit by a car? <laughs> his selfish behavior reflects his inner desires, his greed. Although we got hit by a car, so... <laughs> Wouldn't it be as funny? Where did it go? Damn it. Chuckling. What, is he looking at, like, a bomb or something? Not paying attention to his surroundings, the man kept looking for something. It is time. Time for... We're going to murder him? For the show to begin. Oh, there it is. Pick up. Why am I picking up the key? We 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 playing as him now. From a door from a drawer that man took out a key. <laughs> I saw the boss put the spare key in here. With the key, he opened a locker. Is he doing what I think he's doing? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Steel wallet. We're playing as him now. Sukahara quickly hides the wallet in his pocket. I'll put this money to better use than that dumb kid. Where are you steal money? You're about to have millions. Unbelievable. I hope he dies now. Steal from that kid. Like, I'm at a time right now where money is really scarce for us, so. Well, time to get the hell out of this lousy place. Hey, wait. He didn't even do the closing work. He just walked out on the job. I hope he, we, Darren, he gets all the money that that kid did. What is he doing? I can't believe this. Watch closely now. This is study material for your position as my assistant. Is this man still really worth 100 million? VVLs. View and add. Oh, we get this one again. I think I have this game or a game like it. But yeah, they're never about, like, having kids or whatever. You just... Like, they have minimal story, and there's there's not much gameplay in the ones that I've played. There's a fish. Why is that baby doing a weird dance? I think I spent money on that game. I have one of these types of games that I spent money on. It was like 99 cents to get this super cute outfit. Yeah, it's that character up there. Ugh, damn it. I spent it all too soon. I'm never setting foot in this place ever again. Well, the extra money was nice. Soon I'll have a hundred million in my hand, so it'll all be good. He is a man who does not hold back his desires. It is going quite well. Going quite well? He stole someone's money and threw away the wallet. I'm supposed to understand why I'm giving someone like him so much money? I just want to cut his <laughs> off. At least she's angry. My phone vibrates in my pocket in the middle of all this. Ah. Oh, it's Grandma! How are you doing, Shorty? Have you read what I sent you? You don't have to reply right away. If something's troubling you, come and see me anytime. Look, the devil is harassing me, Grandma. 
I want to see you. Grandma loves you, Shorty. She loves you very much. I said, stop blackmailing me with my soul, punk. My grandpa raised my sister and me. I want to see my grandma again. If I want to live again, I have to put up with this circus a bit longer. Someone said that a beautiful soul is like a savory meal. Was it you? That's a really morbid analogy, dude. Rest assured, you are not an ingredient. You are an assistant candidate. How long do I have to do this again? Right, let's hope it stays that way. What about my grandmother? If your grandmother has a wish, I will see to it personally. Hmm. Yeah, stay away from my grandmother. Stay away from my grandmother. Your grandmother decides whether she wants my services or not. She would never agree. Feel free to believe that, Shorty. Is she going to wish us back to life or save our grandchild? Her grandchild? Maybe she would. I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. I want my baby back. Remember, demons crave souls. No matter how beautiful he looks, I can't let my guard down. Hmm. Are you always this easily distracted? Damn it, Sukahara is gone. Before I knew it, Sukahara, who should have been nearby, disappeared from sight. You gonna harass someone now? What the? I don't have my wallet. Oh, the poor store clerk. I'm sure I had it on me before I left for work. Did I drop it on the way? Are you serious? I reminded you many times that today is the deadline for membership fees. I'm sorry, my wallet is gone. I don't know where. How is that my problem? Oh, what a jerk. Ugh. I have one lesson tomorrow. I'll bring it after class, okay? It's complicated. I need it today, not tomorrow. What are you involved in? If you can't pay now, then I'm leaving. Jeez. I'm sorry. Damn it, it must be somewhere between the store and here. Damn, come on, where is it? Hmm. Do you care about that boy? Yes. Do I have to spend gems to help him? Sukahara's the one who stole his wallet. This kid is now paying for Sukahara's actions. If you want to help, then go ahead. How many diamonds do I got to spend to help? I can? What should I do? I know where the wallet is, but I can't tell. There's no money in the wallet! <laughs> I can't leave things like this, though. In any case, first, I need to become visible. Let me become visible for all to see. Are we going to tell him? Sukahara stole your wallet. Hello. Whoa, hey there, can I help you? You've been looking for something for a while now. Is everything okay? Uh, no, I lost my wallet and I can't find it. Your wallet, hmm. Do you happen to see a brown wallet around here? Hmm, what should I do? Should I just give him a hint? I'm gonna tell him. Maybe you lost your wallet while you were at work? Hmm, I don't think so. All the lockers in the staff room are locked. But that doesn't guarantee that someone couldn't get access to the key, right? What? If there's an untrustworthy person or someone with a grudge against you working at the store, you should be careful. Store, wait, did I say I work at a store? Bye. Hey, miss. Where'd she go? She was right in front of me. I wish we could have just given him money. I returned to Mephisto's side after I became invisible to the young part-time worker. I'm not sure we actually helped him at all. Are you satisfied now? I couldn't tell him where his wallet is. Even though I knew that man stole it and spent all the money, I couldn't do anything. At the very least, I'll try to get someone to find the wallet and return it. If you want to, then go ahead. Thanks. No period or anything at the end of that. Everything that needs to happen is inevitable, and you, Shorty, are part of the inevitable too. Not really comforted by that. The wallet, I think he threw it somewhere around here. Hmm. There it is! With no money! The wallet was sitting under the shade of a tree. Pick up the wallet. We're getting real interactive this chapter. Now I just need a kind person to find this wallet. <laughs> Not him! Phew. Oh, that person was talking with the store employee. Come on, notice it. He's probably gonna try and steal it. I make the bushes shake to get his attention. Russell. Huh? Was that a cat? What the? Is that a wallet? I wonder who it belongs to. The young man picks up the wallet and checks its contents. There's a student ID. Oh, hey, he actually did lose his wallet. I knew it. He wouldn't lie to me. Now you're acting all nice? I shouldn't have been so quick to make assumptions. I said all those terrible things to him. He takes out his phone and makes a call. Hey, it's me. Listen, I'm sorry for what I said earlier. I just found your wallet on the side of the street. Your ID is in there, but the rest of the contents have been removed. I'll bring it to you now. Where should I meet you? Okay, I'll meet you there. Beat. He ended the call and put the wallet in his bag. Taking out his headphones, he puts the music on full blast and hurries to meet his friend. I couldn't recover the money, but at least he has a student ID back. Small favors. It is about time. Time for what? Hopefully that dude to die. The wheel of fate is about to turn. Let us go, shorty. 
I'm hoping for like a final destination series of events for that guy. Real parenting experience. Have you ever raised a royal baby in the ancient palace? My guess would be no. The lady designs are cuter than the male designs, though. Only life was that simple. I think that's almost like a gotcha game. Like, you summon heroes and they do things for you. It's taking up too much space. I should probably get rid of it if that's the one I'd have. The overpass. Damn, when will they bring me my 100 million? Why are we taking so long? This chapter is long. It's still going. Like, I'm super anxious about this not saving. Clock, clock, clock. Is that a horse? Huh? Devil horse? The man turned at the sound of footsteps. A young man with headphones was jogging along a pedestrian bridge. Oh, that's the guy that found the wallet. Tch. Bastard, the road ain't yours. How dare you walk them down the road? The man moved and deliberately blocked the young man's path. Wham! Ugh. Did I hit something? I must be imagining things. I'm late. I need to hurry. Ah! Uh, the frick just happened. <laughs> Young man with headphones continued to run up the stairs, not even realizing that he hit a man who was now tumbling down the stairs. How do you not notice running directly into someone and sending them flying down the stairs? This hurts. Somebody, I need help. That was kind of lame. Thought, 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 thought. Was it at the hospital? Get some dramatic music in the background. At the hospital. Mm. <gasps> Where am I? Why am I in a bed? What happened to me? Why can't I move? What's wrong with my body? I remember running into some kid on that pedestrian bridge. He had Hulk like strength. Thud. I fell down the stairs? Damn, that little... Why am I in the hospital? Why are you in the hospital? You fell down some stairs! They could really change the ads of them, just saying. The baby has a giant head, by the way. That house seems smaller to me, just on a bigger property. And she can do idol dances. I wonder if anyone's actually going to go download this game because I saw it in this video. Get this chapter finished already. Oh, not again. Uh, so I had to kind of cut the audio there, and unlike, because the screen recording failed again, and unlike before when I try to, you know, re-record everything, I'm, I'm going to try and piece the commentary together with the video, so the audio might be off for that part, but anyway. So, dude just had an accident, Mephisto's going to show us how this deal with the devil thing works. Yeah, so, what are you planning on doing? I am going to give him his 100 million that he wished for. In return, he can either go to hell or purgatory, where he will receive a fate worse than death. What the difference between these two places? Where do you think he belongs? Hell. Well. What is the difference? Ugh. I think I would say purgatory. What he did was wrong, but he could have done worse. Purgatory? Aside from those who are leading a sincere life, someone as bad as him gets a hundred million. It'd be best if he pays the full price for it, right? Isn't purgatory supposed to be better than hell? I mean, just technically speaking? Yes, <laughs> shorty. I thought you had another good human idea, but... Unexpected. You seem to have gotten used to the devil's way sooner than I thought. Maybe it's different in Japan? Oh? Shall we see how he is doing? I'm gonna assume not well, not that I care. Huh? Was it a dream? What? What's going on? Oh, this must be him. I can't move! Well, vitals are normal, but he hasn't regained consciousness. Whoa, what are you talking about? 
However, the patient does meet the conditions. Not that I was expecting to find any volunteers. Patient? Hey, what the hell are you talking about? Now it's time to begin experimenting. Music note. This is unethical. Mm -hmm. Hey, what the hell is that? You can't use that on me. No, stop! It is no use screaming. We're about to create the C-Virus. What? Who? You are neither alive nor dead. Your voice will not reach anyone's ears. What? You are in a coma. But do not worry, the insurance company already paid you a hundred million. I am glad that everything worked out as per our agreement. <gasps> Good doing business with you. Well, they are about to begin. Would be a pity to miss this moment. So is this purgatory? <laughs> what? Ugh. Da, da, da. Hmm, we'll start by removing the tendons in the arm? Jeez. Da, da, da. What are you doing to me? Stop it! Stop! Now replace this with an artificial tendon. What? No, it doesn't work. No, 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 no. Well, if it's just the tendon in his arm, he's not going to die. Failure is alright. He won't know anyway. What if he wakes up? He's just in a coma. Stop, please stop. I don't want to die. Do not worry, you will not die anytime soon. You will live until the end of your days. As a madman's test subject. This guy doesn't seem like he leaves a lot of people alive. <laughs> ah ha ha, music note. Well, we may have picked the worst option. No, no! I don't need money, please help me! Arrgh. Can we kill the doctor next though? Because this is kind of messed up. He's probably done this to innocent people. This was... The tragedy that befell Sukahara haunted me. He's one of the worst people I know. He was lazy, stole money, mistreated people, but damn, I don't know if he deserved all that. I tried to send him to purgatory. That's supposed to be the better option. I'm starting to doubt that you would be a good fit as my assistant. Why did you pick an evil person then? Ugh. But I am a friendly devil, so I will give you another chance. Another chance? Even if I have another chance, I don't know if I'd feel warm and fuzzy inside after the nightmare I saw today. It's my job to condemn other people to such a terrible ending. Shorty, take this. I received a crystal ball. We really changed gameplay mechanics, it feels like. This is a crystal ball? The crystal ball is big enough to be held with both hands. If the ball is white, then the soul's value is equal to the person's wish. As I gazed into the crystal ball, it glowed an ominous red. What does red mean? Oh, that's kind of pretty looking. I show him the crystal ball. If the contractor wants more than what their soul is worth, they become indebted. And then the ball lights up red. Uh... It's like a cursed magic eight ball. It is not really. Pain, despair, oblivion, loss, misery, sorrow. The souls sustained with these qualities are more valuable than others. They're stained. Is this crystal ball that shows a person's Sukahara's condition? Correct. Ugh, please, please, somebody please help me. Red. He still has much to suffer in order to pay for his a hundred million. This is how one deals with the devil. So what, you make a deal and if you're asking for more than your soul is worth, you suffer for it or something? Oh. Hmm. A deal with the devil. And I'm the one that helps him. Does it scare you? Hmm. Choice is always yours. Not really. Can't exactly say that I don't agree with this position. I've already agreed to be your assistant. Therefore, I'm going to fulfill the requirements expected of me. Because I want to see my grandmother. We're just forgetting about that unborn child of ours. I don't want to die like this. Good, now let us move on to our next contractor. So soon? There are people everywhere who want to make a contract with the devil. Even right next to you. Uh... With a grandma alone, man. This is probably the end of the chapter. You're awake! You're reborn! So, I, I got a new Fate of the Empress ad. No, this one seems to have frozen, but I got a new one earlier. So, I might just cut one. this one out since Only it skipped it anyway and put that ad in, because it seems a shame not to show it. I'm gonna vacuum it out. But anyway, let's move on if the thing messes up again. Fate of the Empress, play for fun. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want like the ad might go over or whatever. This is not the chapter end. 
where should we go today? We can do whatever you like. So if there's no audio for the uh, the rest of that ad, that's probably why. From me, anyway. Oh, really? This is something I've been interested in for some time. We used to be like this. Then let's go there. What a fun ringtone. I'm sorry, it's a call from work. No, lady, don't make a deal with the devil. All right, come back soon. Or is he going to die? And she tries to bring us back. It's okay, I won't like, get in the way of our date. Good. I love you, Wataru. I love you, too. We're going to rip these people. I'll try and use gems to save you both. Yes, it's Wataru Sasaki. Yes, yes. Of course I know. A blind date with Mr. Haishiba's daughter. Of course, it's a must. <gasps> is he playing her? Well, now you die. Continued in Chapter 5. another shining he had so we're gonna end this part here thank you so much for watching do you plan to play that empress game and uh, let me know what you thought of this episode of this deal with the devil stuff do you think Sukahara got what he deserved let me know in the comments i'll see you next time bye